hi beautiful people welcome back thank you so much for joining the channel today today's video we are going to talk about how to study in poland in 2024 i basically want to do this video because i have realized that a lot of people are looking at cheaper options now the united states and canada and australia look somehow so heavy for most of my subscribers so i'm going to be doing videos about some schengen countries Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Czech Republic, and a whole lot of other Schengen nations. Germany and Norway somehow because they need proof of funds. And please, if you find this content interesting, the very first thing you should do for me is to like the video. Because if you like the video, YouTube is going to recommend to another brother or sister who is looking for similar content like this. And it is going to help them. So today, let's talk about the Schengen zone. We are going to be talking specifically for Poland. Now, if you didn't know where is Poland, Poland is a member of the European Union. Poland is equally a Schengen member. Poland is bordered by Germany and so many other countries, which you can read that from Google. It is normal something. And if you want to study in Poland in 2024, I would say that you have to understand that there are two intakes in Poland. First, there is the April intake. Secondly, there is a September intake. And not all universities in Poland accept students for both intakes. The majority of the universities will only accept students for the September intake in Poland. So if you intend to study in Poland, you have to consider this. And equally, also remember Poland is a very big country with a population of about 40 million or plus inhabitants. So if you want to move to Poland, you should understand that the minimum wage in Poland is somehow lesser than in the Czech Republic and other countries. But somehow wise, there are jobs, part-time jobs for international students. Of course, you need to check very hard to get it, okay? But don't expect bigger something or bigger opportunities in Poland like in Canada and USA or Germany or other bigger nations. Now, it is easy to get a visa to Poland compared to other countries. I do not think that is true, but it may be. Secondly, Poland is very affordable compared to other countries. Tuition fee in Polish universities, a majority of Polish universities, the range is usually around 2,000 euros to maybe around 4,000 euros maximum per year. So it is somehow cheap compared to other countries like Canada, USA, and maybe Australia. So you should consider Poland in terms of this. And also they do not require a blocked account for you to study in Poland. So these are the general things you need to know about Poland. Yeah, bigger cities include Krakow, Rocklaw, Warsaw as well. You also have Lublin and you also have Poznan and a whole lot of universities located also in a place called Vistula. So in all these bigger cities in Poland, you have a lot of universities. We have the University of Vistula, the University of uh, Rocklaw, the University of Warsaw. We have uh, WSB's university in all bigger cities like Poznan, Rocklaw, uh, Krakow and all the rest all right we even have Lord's university in Lot, and there is a uh, nicholas uh copenius is it copernicus please you have to verify again there is a university in Lot called nicholas copernicus university and there is also wsb's university a lot of universities in poland very affordable and one thing about poland is that they will charge you an application fee as well but not like most schools in canada polish universities charge sometimes there are schools that will ask you for maybe 20 euros application fee some ask for 18 zloty their currency is called polish zloty okay then some universities equally charge in zloty but it doesn't make sense anyways if you want to pay the currency or if you want to pay using euro so it is advantage for you to go to poland but one thing i would also want you to draw to draw your attention to not want you but i want to draw your attention to is most african countries do not have the polish embassy and it is located in abuja nigeria and sometimes appointments to study in poland is very difficult to get some students are getting it but i don't know how they are getting it why others keep trying to book but to no avail i really don't know what is the problem please polish officials if you are watching this video know that african students are having a problem especially west african students or so many other african students 
applying from abuja nigeria please consider the appointment booking system look into the system very well i don't know what is happening but for over the past some years now african students are having it difficult to book appointments to apply for visas please look into that now this is the general updates for poland so if you want to study in poland you have to start looking at october november december upwards start looking at schools because like i said some are going to be opening against march april intake not all the schools anyway another important update i want you to remember is that if you want to study in poland apply when applying for the university remember that when you have the admissions offer you are going to pay a tuition deposit to accept your position then get the final letter which is the acceptance letter the first one you are going to get is the conditional offer the second one they are going to send to you after tuition payment is the unconditional offer and you are going to use this tool to apply for visa so until you pay the tuition deposit they are asking you to pay before you can apply and remember if you do not pay some schools charge per semester others will charge per year so you have to make a decision on which school you are going to depending on how much they are charging if you are looking at economics maybe social sciences of course poland has a lot of schools offering that university of vistula wsbc university as a matter of fact there is a school in poland where you only pay the administrative fee when you have the admissions letter okay when you have the admissions they call them wsbc university this is a group of universities but they are split it's a group that they they shared campuses in all all the bigger cities in poland all over poland that they have a, a campus in uh, Poznan, Warsaw, Krakow, and all over Poland, but they do not offer the same thing. You understand? These different branches they offer different things. You may be looking at business administration to study in September, and it's only located in Poznan for January or February intake. So you have to be very strategic, and they charge very low tuition fee as well. This is a private body. So if you are looking at state universities, you have to target Rocklaw, Warsaw, and the rest. Okay. Now also understand that application requirements vary a lot when you want to study in polish universities requirements to study in poland are not that heavy they will basically need your high school qualifications if you want to study a bachelor's degree program or if you want to study a master's program you are going to be showing to them or prove that you already have a bachelor's degree it is important for you to prove this and when you have this remember your bachelor's degree needs to have its transcript accompanied by um let me say your degree has to accompany a transcript okay your transcript has to accompany your degree anyone but just know that you need to have a bachelor's degree among this bachelor's degree now you need to have additional documents most schools will ask for additional documents which i'm going to give you now but if you are applying remember this is for those applying for masters and a phd degrees or higher degrees but if you are going for bachelor's you need just your yx certificate if you are from nigeria you need your o levels and a levels from cameroon then you need um, english proficiency but most schools will not ask for this english proficiency like the wsbc university i was talking about they don't really need it all right but uh, you have to prove to them that at least you can study in english then one thing let me say this before i continue with the documents you need to legalize your documents most almost all the schools in poland ask for legalized documents as i speak now so if you intend to study in poland even the wsbc university you need to legalize your documents legalization is at the level of the ministry of foreign affairs it's important so when you do this it is going to be easy for you to get admissions wsb's university don't waste time and many other universities i think there is a new university in poznan is it in lublin i don't remember but they are very swift when you apply they don't waste time all right so the other documents now include your cv alongside your high school qualifications like maybe your yek and your neko or your wasi they are equally going to ask you a cv curriculum vt which is not a big deal there is no eyes involved then you are going to write maybe a motivation letter to motivate them to prove that why you want to study that particular program and why poland you have to write a motivation letter to convince the admissions team some universities i don't think wsbs don't have this okay then i talked about legalization of your official documents then some will ask you for reference letters it is not common in most polish universities but you need to put this into consideration of course if you have small money let's say your money is not enough and you do not want Probably you don't have a choice, but you just want to live 
africa or maybe asia or where anywhere around the world and go abroad you should be looking at places like poland if it is easy for you to quickly get the visa because when it comes to visa application i cannot really make a decision here i don't know how to get it for you that is why i'm calling on polish officials to look into the system because african students are getting a lot of issues when it comes to this all right they get admissions they cannot apply to now i don't know if i mentioned this before if you are looking for a school to apply for in poland make sure you are applying to a university that if you pay your first tuition deposit they would be able to refund your money back in case you don't have an appointment to apply for visa wsbc university have a refund policy okay they are going to refund your money they have they did that for many students i think they have refunded for like three of my students which i got them offers uh two years back and one last year so make sure you are applying to a school there are some schools that will not refund back your money please avoid those schools okay then one person was telling me that one school ate her money so that's why i'm telling you that apply to schools that have a refund policy you can always ask them and check their websites they always put it there as easy as abc so these are some of the things that you need then remember when you have the admissions you pay the deposit you now need to move to visa stage no blocked account remember your sponsor should have money a lot of money at least six million upwards it is important in his or her bank account then you get the other documents and legalize them notarize them all right and you are good to go there is a video about proof of funds you are going to find on the channel it's very easy to understand please make sure you watch those videos and you get to work i hope this video was helpful till we meet again in another one the head is big for a reason